For, from our own perspective at the banner, um, one of the things that we look for in a modern day author when, uh, when they're writing uh, is that the material they're producing is going to have a life, it's going to have a longevity. Yeah, okay. Okay. You know, we're looking for writers who can write in the way that the older writers wrote. So, you know, when they produce a, a, a book, you know, it, is, is that a book that my great, great, great mm, grandchild mm. would benefit from? Yep. Um, you know, is it dealing with the principles of scripture? Um, is it going to help them to think through how you apply those principles of scripture to the issues you face in your life? Yes. Um, so does it have a life, you know, beyond the next five years? Uh, interesting. Okay. Um, and that's something we look for in, in the books that we publish. Um, we, we do publish some books that are a little bit more issue focused, but we prefer to publish books that are more principle focused rather than issue focused, yep, yep. that teach you to think, that, that teach you the, the underlying principles that scripture teaches, and then how do you apply those to, to things that you come across in life. Mm. Um, it, it was, uh, many of you, many, I'm sure many of the people watching this will, will know that um, Dr. Martin Lloyd-Jones was quite influential in the early days of the Banner of Truth. Um, Ian Murray, who was one of the founders, um, was an assistant with Martin Lloyd-Jones in Westminster Chapel in London. And um, Lloyd-Jones is a great encourager to the work of the Trust. And one of the things he, he always was very keen on was to encourage people to think. Um, you know, think about the, the issues, think about what the Bible teaches, mm -hmm. and then work from that to, okay, how do we apply that to this thing today? Yep. Um, my, my father was a minister um, and he attended the, the Westminster Fellowship in London uh, and as a teenager I remember many times saying to dad, well dad how should I react to this that's going on or how, what should I do about this and he would say you should think about it. Now let's talk about the biblical principles, what does it say, you know, Romans 5 or whatever, uh, what are the biblical principles here? Okay so now what do you make of that? Yes. Where does that take you? Yeah. Um, and, and I have to say, at times as a teenager, I wanted the instant answer. Yeah, you know? I, I, don't, I don't want to have to think. Just give me the answer. <laughs> give me the answer. Um, but you know, I look back now, and I think actually that was such good advice. Um, learn the scriptures, learn the principles, and then think and think Deep how you apply that, that yeah. to whatever it is that you face in modern day life. Mm.